Thank you for watching this Deer Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create suppliers. New suppliers can be created by navigating to Purchases, and then under New, selecting Supplier. Or, by selecting the Add symbol from your Suppliers list page. Suppliers can also be created during a purchase, where pressing the plus next to the Suppliers name field will open a pop-up window where supplier details can be entered. If default values for new supplier records were set up previously in Settings, Reference Books, Default Supplier Values, the applicable fields will be pre-filled with these values. If default values are not set up, all fields will be empty. Regardless of whether default values are set up or not, all fields in the new supplier page remain editable. In the new supplier page, enter the supplier's name and the supplier's currency. Note that it is important to provide the right currency that the supplier operates in, as Deer Inventory automatically creates a currency conversion at the time of purchase for the supplier. If the currency of the supplier is different from your base currency, a currency conversion will occur. If needed, the exchange rate can be modified at the time of purchase to reflect the actual rate. After that, choose a payment term, an account payable, and a tax rule. Then, ensure the status is set to active. Deprecated means that the supplier is archived and will not appear in any of the supplier drop-down lists unless specifically searched for. Then, you're able to select the default carrier and a tax number if required. If you have a standing discount with the supplier, enter the number into this field and that percentage value will be applied automatically to your purchase order lines. Apply any needed custom fields using additional attributes, and add internal comments as needed. Once general information has been provided for a supplier, addresses can be added. Multiple addresses can be added for the same supplier. Each type of address, such as business, shipping, or billing, must be correctly identified for each supplier. This is so that the information is correctly displayed on any purchase-related Deer Inventory documents. To add an address for a supplier, select Plus or Add a New Address, and fill in the supplier's address details. Then, select Business, Shipping, or Billing from the type list as appropriate. You can add as many addresses as needed. If the supplier has multiple addresses of one type, select a default address for that type by selecting the checkbox here. You'll then need to include a contact before you can save the new supplier record. To add a contact for a supplier, select the Contacts tab, and then click Plus or Add a New Contact to fill in the supplier's contact details. You can add as many contacts as necessary. If multiple contacts are added, select a default contact for the supplier. And then, choose if the contact is automatically included in emails to the supplier by checking the box here. Once the details have been added, save the supplier by selecting Save. The supplier can now be used to make purchases with Deer Inventory. You can view your purchase history with a supplier from their page. To do this, view Purchase by Product or Purchase by Document tabs. Documents up to 10 megabytes can be dragged and dropped into the Attachments tab for further reference. The Activity log shows any changes that users or the system have made to the supplier record. Supplier details can also be imported from a CSV template. This is useful for quickly adding many suppliers, their addresses, their contacts, or their product information details in bulk. It is important that the column names and orders are not changed when editing the CSV template. To import a list of suppliers, navigate to Purchases, and then under Search, select Suppliers. Then, select Import, and Suppliers. This will open the Import Suppliers page. Here, you can download the Supplier CSV template. You can then select the Field Specifications button to view a breakdown of all of the required and optional fields found within the CSV template. Copy information about your suppliers into the template, making sure the information matches the column headings, which cannot be changed in order for the import to work. Once done, save your changes to the CSV file. Back on the Import Suppliers page, either drop the completed CSV template into the appropriate box, or select Browse to upload it from your computer. Following the same method, you can bulk upload the supplier's addresses, contacts, and product prices by supplier. Aside from the ability to edit supplier details individually, supplier details can be exported as a CSV file and edited in bulk. This method can also be used for suppliers, supplier addresses, and supplier contacts. To edit supplier details in bulk, select Export, and then the desired information you wish to change in bulk. 
download and open the CSV file. Here, you can edit the details that need to be updated. Save the CSV template and upload the template using the import button. Suppliers can be deprecated when they are no longer active or in use. If a supplier has not been used in any transaction, its record can also be deleted from Deer. Suppliers that have been used in a transaction cannot be deleted. Deprecated suppliers will not be available for selection during purchase operations. To deprecate a supplier, first navigate to the Suppliers Details page, and here you can change the status from Active to Deprecated, remembering to save your changes. Multiple suppliers can be deprecated all at once by exporting the supplier list to a CSV file. Then, update the status column of the applicable records and importing the CSV file back into Deer. Deprecated suppliers can be deleted from Deer if they have not yet been used in any purchase transaction. To delete deprecated suppliers, select More Actions, Delete Deprecated Suppliers, and then click Delete. Multiple supplier records can be merged into a single record. To merge supplier records, select the suppliers you wish to merge from the list and then select More Actions, Merge Selected Suppliers. You'll then be able to select the primary supplier record and select Merge. After merging, supplier fields that only allow a single value, such as tax rules and currency, will take the value of the primary supplier record. Supplier addresses and supplier contacts from all merged suppliers will be transferred to the primary supplier. All transactions involving merged suppliers will now point to the primary supplier. Note that merging suppliers is irreversible, and that you may also need to merge the same suppliers in your integrated accounting software. And that concludes this video on suppliers.